what's up guys welcome back to my youtube channel as promised here is the gpg analysis channel recap for the month of december and thank you for tuning in let's go all right as our routine we're gonna start with not activated trades we had four not activated trade one of them being gold and this um rules and criteria for trading will really save you um, in terms of getting out of the losses or well i should say prevents the losses from happening and it's a good thing if you want to wait for the candle to close in a specific way or a break and retest that you want to happen you wait for it to happen if it doesn't show up then you're just not going to take the trade and call it not activated all right then the next one would be break events um we had a us 30 break event euro gbp and nzd chf that um the euro gbp almost came to tp1 but you know it just turned back well as our rule goes if we go over one to two we will be break even and if we get out in break even we have no feeling about it then we got to losing trades um, we had six losing trades in Forex, as you can see, from the range of 15 pip to 25 pips here. We didn't have a 30 pip stop loss. But what I want to talk about is the Ripple XRP USD trade. Um, I mentioned to everyone when I was actually calling this trade that you don't have to take this trade over with leverage. And you got to take the physical coin, like buy the physical coin and hold it into your wallet. And the reason was the what happened in this pair right here which was the lawsuit that came for ripple and it basically went 50 percent down from where i called it now i bought it personally at this tree place that you can see are marked up here which was about um this around here is about 48 cents. So this was 42 cents, something close to that. And then it went down to 25 cents. Because we were not using any leverage, we, we were able to hold it for about a month and a half. And currently is back to this area, meaning the loss is covered. But what I personally did was start trading with the repo from up and down move that was happening there using a USDT. And I actually grabbed all my losses back before price pushed to the same price that it is right now. And when this push happened, I came actually into profit. Now, the analysis was wrong, but how I managed to make, um, you know, trade using this pair made me profitable in this single trade. So it's very important how you manage your trade, okay? You can't have the perfect analysis, but you can lose money or bad analysis and make money okay now let's talk about winning trades we had um, two euro as you can see on screen euro cat before and after it was about 80 pip and euro jpy same thing these two were not at the exact same time but because the pip amount was uh same thing i put them together you can see in euro jpy that was a perfect trend line break in retest and um resistant trap up here that price kind of went for the liquidity um 80 pips and 80 pips here for the support trap that was happening here then we had the aud nzd you can see the before and after here as well as nzd cat these two each uh had a 40 pip tp and you can see it was less than 10 pip for take pro uh, stop loss um risk to reward was absolutely acceptable but in terms of amount of pips it was like not that crazy so 80 pips in here then we had gbp cat um we have another trade at after this one that i will show you this was uh same exact time with the gbp um jpy trade i think yeah um yes gbp jpy so this gcat and gj was exact same time each one gave us 100 pips um and it was a perfect trap that came from Friday, continued in Sunday, Monday, and it did have another try 
try to trap people and Tuesday as well. So that was 100 pips trade here. And then we had a GBP USD um, induction trade. It's a macro induction, which makes sense in micro if you want to take it. It was about 210 pips take profit. That was smashed um, exactly as planned. Um, that's a GJ trade. You can see um, just like GCAT in the previous slide. And then we had another GJ trade from the macro um, analysis. We had it in four hour for a macro induction and then continuation of the macro direction, which exactly happened as we planned, even with the W formation, as you can see. And our TP for 290 pips was hit. That's what I calculated for this slide. But overall, as you can see, till now, which is February, I'm recording this video. Price is about 1,000 pips up from, you know, the area that we caught, which I'm pretty proud of. Then we had a Euro GBP trade, very clean one. This one, we called it in um, London session. We got entry um, before New York session and then 130 pips in two push without even coming back to get the stop loss and stuff like that. Very nice trade here. It was off the support trap that um, was worked during the start of the week. Then we had a USD CHF. This one was also, as you can see, macro induction. Um, this was also not bad. So this one gave us 40 pips and Euro GBP 130 pips. That will bring 112 pips total in losses and 1,110 pips in win. The total is 998 pips, very close to 1,000, but we didn't reach 1,000. It was better than a previous month that I just did the recap. But what you need to learn here, the amount of pips is not as important as consistency into having this um, result. You need to be able to um, find this analysis and trap setups, monetize them in such a way to keep you profitable over a um, series of trade. It's not about one or two trade. It's about series of trade. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new. Make sure to subscribe to the channel, like the video and hit the notification bell so you will be notified for the next upload. Until next time. Peace.